Hi, my name is Nai and today's topic is Active Recall. If you're a student like myself, you've likely come across the challenge of memorizing new material. Thankfully, there are some highly effective memorization techniques which can make memorizing a lot less complicated and challenging. Firstly, let's talk about active learning. Active learning is a method of learning in which you actively engage with an activity related to learning, for example, teaching someone or making a presentation instead of simply reading your notes. Active learning is a better way to learn. Active recall is a form of active learning which involves actively retrieving information from your brain. You can practice active recall by using flashcards or testing yourself with practice questions, which you can do on Quizlet. Several studies have deemed it one of the most effective ways to improve your exam performance. When incorporated into a study plan correctly, active recall requires you to exercise your brain repeatedly. This strengthens the pathways in your brain and makes you retain and recall information more easily. I use active recall quite a lot when I'm revising my anatomy, which is quite dense, to learn things like the bones and muscles of the body, for example. The more you practice recalling a piece of information or retrieving it from your brain, the more likely you are to remember it later on. Furthermore, active recall is actually how a lot of exams are structured. For example, multiple choice questions or longer written questions where you are also required to recall information. Most curriculums require students to learn information first and then retrieve it from their brains in the exam. So it only makes sense to study the same way you're going to be tested, right? These are the key advantages that Active Recall has over other passive learning methods. As I mentioned before, it is very important to execute a study method correctly. In my experience, Quizlet has been the one-stop shop for all Active Recall tools. On Quizlet, you have multiple methods for practicing Active Recall and you're also able to keep track of your performance and progression which is a key part of effective studying. Available to you are numerous pre-made and curated flashcard sets for your benefit. Now, I'm going to take you through what it is like practicing Active Recall on Quizlet. So here I am uh, sitting in the Neuroendocrine Pharmacology set that I've made in the past and I go through quite regularly. You can also see the different modes that you can use for Active Recall on Quizlet, which are uh, the flashcard mode, the learn mode, the test mode and the match mode. So in this case, I'm gonna start out by just trying out the flashcard mode. I found this to be the easiest to use when I'm on the go uh, because the interface is actually quite simple and I like the sort of features that come with it. So as you can see, the way you practice active recall here is by reading the term on the front of the card. So describe the peripheral side effects of opioids, for example. And I'm going to actively retrieve the information from my brain and think, what is the answer to it? And that is the active recall part where I've had to retrieve that information. When I flip to the other side, I now see the answer or the, you know, the reverse side of the card. And based off how well I think I know it, I can click either still learning or, or no. Let's say I know this term. You can also add images to uh, this uh, flashcard um, set. Uh, if you really want to, uh, there's an option to do that. And as you can see, it's really just simple, you know, flicking through uh, cards. That's the flashcard method. Now I'm going to try the learn method, which I found to be particularly more helpful when I'm less familiar with the terms and I'm still learning the new material. And what I really like about the learn method is that it tests you by, you know, throwing different types of questions at you. Uh, for example, here you saw the first question was um, a card which I had to flip and then it's now giving me this sort of multiple choice. So it's continuously giving you different types of questions and this really helps you to solidify the information that you're still learning or less familiar with. So before and after studying, I really like to test myself on each set to see how much I knew before and how much I know now. And I really love the test uh, mode on Quizlet because it gives you completely different questions each time. As you can see, uh, I'm just gonna be answering a few of these questions. Now that you know how important Active Recall is and that Quizlet has all the tools you need to execute it with ease, all that's left is giving it a go and staying as consistent as possible.